Maddie is doing a musical theater number called Jubilation. It's about a young girl whose dreams come true when she lands a spot on Broadway. This is going to be one tough year for Maddie. She is now competing nine and over. Star, diva. There's kids that I know that are 10, 11, and 12 who will make mincemeat out of her. And ta 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 You can look side, side. Chloe is doing a musical theater number called Dreams. This music is perfect for her because she has big dreams, but she's going to have to do a lot of work to make those dreams come true. Chloe has gained a lot of recognition from the music video. Frankly, I think it's getting to her head a little bit. What that kid doesn't understand is all eyes are on her. Everybody's going to be watching for her to make a mistake. Kendall is getting the biggest break of her life she's ever going to get, and so is that mother. I am going to put Kendall in the competition doing a solo so that I can see what she looks like on stage. I'm going to put the pressure on that kid and see if she sinks or swims. Then you're going to take a giant step with your right foot out and drag and throw those arms up in the air. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Kendall's going to be able to hang, and we came from a studio from about an hour I live locally. But so. what made you, like, I mean, you've been driving for years, and this is close. Why didn't you come here before? Honestly, I never heard great things about Abby. And I feel this tension between Christy and I. I would think she could be a little more welcoming. Um, we always beat your studio when we went places. Yeah. You think? Absolutely. Yeah. Chloe and Maddie have gone head to head with Kendall, and they beat her. When? Last year. Well, Kendall's See, come a long so way since then. Yeah, she has her stuff. We've all come a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. I and wasn't there. It Mine is there. about the win because, let's face it, we're all here to, to win. Christy brings up that Maddie and Chloe had both beaten Kendall at one point, so she must feel a little threatened by Kendall to even bring that up. I don't care what they think. There's a million Chloe Maddie pages out there. But guess what? Kendall's here, and she's staying. Here we are at Dance Troupe in Greensboro, North Carolina. Let's go, check it out. And there is some amazing talent here. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen on stage. Look at me, baby. I need you to sit up tall. I wanna get this on really quick. We'll start with your eyes. All right, now listen. You just shot the music video. People recognize you, they know who you are. Do not go out there and forget your dance. Do not let it happen, keep dancing. It's very hard to keep Abby out of your head. Like when I'm at the mall, sometimes I'll hear like Abby out of nowhere. Now Kendall, remember, you are still on probation. What you do out there today counts, yes? I'm not really sure what probation means. I think she keeps saying probation, just she wants me to bring it. But I'm prepared to go on stage and bring it. New age group, nine and up. Do not disappoint me. Get out there and do what you were trained to do. All right, are we ready? Game faces. It's not hard dancing against older girls, but I'm not intimidated by anyone. I'm not nervous at all. I'm totally confident, and I'm ready to compete. Now we'd like to welcome to the stage contestant number 65. Welcome, Maddie. She really told the story with her face. There's this part where she does about stealing the scene, and she really did it well. She certainly was the star of the show. confident with my dance. I had a lot of applause and I felt good. This was contestant number 44, Caitlin. Up next, we have contestant number 84. Welcome, Chloe. I got a wish that's only mine. I got a wish that my 
seem done to you I'm gonna wish as hard as I can Let me tell you I wanna tell it to the trees I wanna hear it whisper back to me I'm gonna wish as hard as I can Yeah, well the fishes for fishes The sea will be full up with a million little When I'm on stage dancing It feels like what I was meant to do And what I love doing It feels like I'm just being what I want to be A dancer was good she was confident but there's a big turn section that she does and she goes to the floor and she wasn't spotting the right direction she could have done it better but she covered it up next we have contestant number 81 in the performance of bring on the boys from studio code 513 welcome kindle <laughs> Jill was talking, I expected Kendall to be this amazing dancer. She was a good dancer, but no comparison to Maddie or Chloe. Before I went on stage, I was hearing Abby's voice telling me all the corrections and all the changes, but I know I can do this. Kendall looked gorgeous in her costume, but the face wasn't there. The kid was a nervous wreck. I really hope I win first. I don't want to let my fans down. And in first place, Junior Age Division, our overall awards goes to number 84, Born to Sing, and Ladies Dance Company. In my age category, I got first overall, and I was really excited and happy because it's the for a solo of the new dance season, and it just felt really good to start off on a good note. And rounding out our pre-junior category in first place, number 65, star of the show, Abby Lee Dance Company. Chloe and I had a very high score on our solo, and we beat some 16-year-olds, and I thought that was a very good achievement for us, too. We need to get ready for the group dance. Let's go. Kendall, you need to watch your distended neck. You need to pull it back. I just want to know what your thoughts were on Kendall. I don't know. The probation thing, I don't want you to, like, hold her on that one performance where I she had three days to learn the number. This is what this is all about. Her she worries. passed that test. I guess that's my question. I, I don't want to be on probation. I want to be part of the team. I want my daughter to be a part of the team. I want to get rid of this probation crap and move on. I said she has to prove herself. She's mm -hmm. gonna keep on proving herself. Everything is gonna be a test. I'm sort of sad. I think I'm gonna be on probation for pretty long. Okay. So I'm not gonna... No. You were prepared, honey. You had a couple days to prepare. Hello. You were... Are you crying? No. No tears. You save those tears for your pillow in your room alone. You're gonna humiliate yourself in front of everyone in this dressing room. Do it's not okay. cry. Suck it up, kid. You're here, you're healthy, you are one lucky little girl. Act like it. What I saw from Kendall disappointed me. She didn't blow me out of the water. I, I was expecting this kid to come out there and have the whole package, and she didn't. So she's still on probation. Okay. All right, girls, listen to me. Everybody could dance better. You know, this was the first time out. It was the first competition of the new season. You're a little rusty out there. All of you are too old to be cute, even Mackenzie. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi, Miss Abby. I'm Catherine with Dance Troop and the Backstage Hi. Coordinator. Thank you very much. And I wanted to let you know that we have a callback challenge today, and one of your girls have been chosen today, and that's been Chloe with Born to Sing. Good. So congratulations. Congratulations. They have something called a callback challenge. Chloe was picked for that, which was a great honor. I think that it's little things like that that are really going to help build her confidence. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's okay. they didn't pick more of you guys. I wonder what they were looking at when they picked their eight. What? I think the dance competition chooses one kid out of each studio to dance in the challenge. Maddie is totally fine with 
Chloe getting chosen for the dance challenge. Okay. Soon as that lady came in and announced that it was Chloe. Did you see Maddie's pouty face? She cannot do that. That shows that like she's a brat just like everybody else. Maddie! That woman walked in here. And you should have seen your face. You went like this. Pouty face. You cannot show that emotion. Because you know why? It makes you look bad. I know that you never be happy for me. I don't want you to turn out like that. You have too bright a future. You need to put that smile on your face like nothing matters. Yes? I don't know, honey. All right.